Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. And I know it's just before, you know, DLC Day. You might actually see this after DLC Day, so this will make no sense. But, I mean, we're, you're, you're back in time a little bit, to a simpler time. When certain things were on sale. And where is it here? The Corsita. I don't know if the Corsita's calling to me. Blood pressure rising, heart rate increasing, body temperature... You know, comparable to the core of a freshly microwaved pizza pocket. Hot pockets! Well, don't panic if you feel the urge to grab a fistful of lotion. Okay, well, these are all the normal symptoms of contact with the Corsita. It is a Lampadati. I don't know that it's calling to me. I mean, it's only one point. It's, it's $500,000 savings, but... Am I going to choose that over, over other vehicles? Probably not. I have Chincabilas, the Fister Astron, not sure, I mean it's a Porsche, sort of liable, so much control, the Astron brings order to the chaos of Los Santos. Now when you hear the word unstable, martyred by pedestrians, you could just, the rest of you're not talking about the car, okay, so, Maybe, I mean, how often do I do SUV races? And I've got, a, I mean, I've got all kinds of fast SUVs. I have to go on Bruffy site and see what the plan is. Got one, got one. Now this, this is kind of interesting. This, not so much. Because I don't think we're getting the, uh, the HSW upgrades, and that's not calling to me if we're not... The Reinhardt, though, is supposed to be really sublime. It's supposed to be just a really nice, nice kind of deal here. You're far too cool to you an SUV and a sedan. You might as well get practically conical tattooed. <laughs> okay, no, you're performance-driven. You're an executive. You're a family of four. And not a day goes by you don't regret... Oh, no, that's not... I, I don't regret my family of four. Not an ounce. You're already a Reinhardt owner. You just don't know it yet. Well... <coughs> Where did I get this on sale? For a little over a mil. We'll make it back this week as I'm probably going to still actually do some some idling with the new double money on bunker stuff that they've brought back. And the double money on all the... I mean, it looks like it's both of them. The, the mixed goods and the the spare parts missions are double. So, I mean, you can... A million bucks you can make pretty darn quickly with all that's going on right now. Look, if you can tell it's before the, uh, the DLC day because it's, you know, this is supposed to happen a lot quicker now. Where the cars are just supposed to show up. But I figured, hey, let's get one more build video in on this. Something, something cheap. I don't have a plan. I mean, it's supposed to be a high-performance sedan that looks acceptable societally so that you're, you know, it doesn't look like you're a boy racer. I don't know which way we're going to go with this. Come on. Give me my wagon. That might be what I'm saying in a little while. Only a different tone of voice. Cars in the shop. We'll see how bad that is. Stranded me earlier this, this week. So that's, uh, yeah, that's a thing. Well... It'll be resolved by the time you see this, so it's okay. Don't worry. Reinhardt! Give me your Reinhardt! Reinhardt. Don't make the people wait. They want to see a Reinhardt. They want to see a Reinhardt. Well, I mean, we, could, we could look over the kind of the Christmas cars they're going to be using for the Christmas racing video, which should be coming up soon. I'm trying to think, should I wait until I get the Christmas outfits to do that? Should I do it way ahead of time, in case I'm busy? I don't get to do it. There we go. Where is it? There we go. Simple looking car. Ubermacht Reinhardt. So it's supposed to be German. Although, I mean, I could see... I could see Subaru in this. I can see a lot of Subaru in this. Not, not 100%. I mean, it still looks very German. Don't get me wrong. I'm sure it's exactly based off something. 
But what do we base it? What do we do here? Do we want to go? Tell you what, I mean, this might replace my uh, my homage for my current car that's in the shop. Let's let's look at this front bumpers. We can make it crazy. I hate putting splitters on stuff because I don't want to get caught on stuff. You could build. You could do a crazy build with this. But that's then, then you know so we do a composite competition setup here with this. What, what is that guess? Oh, that's the the seats and stuff. So that gives us the roll bars. Don't know if I want that. I spent money. Yes, I know. But I'm wealthy. I can throw money around. Competition exhausts. I'm gonna go double bore on this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a low key build, I think. Except for the intercooler with the twin fans. That's. I don't know what I'm doing yet. Now let's give it the street hood. Horn will come. I, I never touched the horn. That's not really a thing. Xenon lights. Uh, okay. Neon kits. Front, back, sides. Livery. What options do we have here for the livery? There's a lot of funkadelic stuff here. We're going to go none for right now. I may, I may dress this up in a full race kind of thing, depending on how it feels later on. But you know, I maybe it's just because my Subaru is in the shop. See, is it more of a midnight silver or a cast iron silver? I think the midnight silver. Let's give it midnight silver with. Some kind of bright pearlescent, like a, yeah, an ice white. Or, do we give it like the blue? Not that mine has the blue, but like that might look good too. I'll tell you, the pearlescent only kick, picks up a little bit on this. Yeah, we'll go with that for right now. I know it's a boring build, but. Secondary color. What? Looks like you have to add parts to use the secondary. Trim color. We have options here. That's gonna match it up. The roof. Gonna do something funky with the vortex generators and. I don't have a, a secondary roof box on anything. I see them around. The extra aerodynamic roof box. Skirts. Spoiler, obviously we need one. Oh, the teeny tiny. Boot lip spoiler. That's a little bit more aggressive than just the teeny tiny. The support boot lip spoiler. But let's go with the teeny tiny because it's, it's a weight thing. Sun strips. I never do a sun strip because every so often you find somebody who locks you in a first person and then you can't see what's going on. Turbo. Wheels, I'm leaving alone because those actually kind of look like the wheels on my Subaru. So that's. Let's make them bulletproof. Light smoke. So this might be a sentimental kind of run here going here, folks. It's. 
Again, it's not exact, but I mean, it's by any stretch of the imagination, but it's giving me a vibe. Well, this does feel nice. Ow. Who did that? This guy. And this guy is honking his horn. Will I give this a funky livery at some point and all kinds of weird stuff? I don't know. It's going to depend on how the day plays out. <laughs> oh, dearie my. Uh, you know you're in trouble when the aliens take all your oil. Where did the oil go? I don't know where. The... That kind of... Anyway. So here we have Reinhardt for now. It might be another... I'll do another video if I, if I funk this out. But this is just a short one for today. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is Your Black Knight. Have a great night. Okay, epilogue. Uh, car's back. Hello. And here's the story. I was going to work and zipping along the highway and suddenly the temperature went bang like all the way up into the hot. Check engine light. I'm quickly pulled over because I know Subaru, uh, you don't want to get them hot. That's a bad thing. Very bad thing. And you know, the heads don't like it. So I pulled over and it still had coolant in it, but the coolant was boiling. And you know, I check and check the oil. Like there's no oil on the dipstick. I don't know why there's no oil on the dipstick, but aliens took the oil. I mean, I check it periodically and it's just like there's always oil in it. It doesn't really use oil. Apparently, it's starting to use oil and uh or something or aliens took it so long story short we put we put oil in it we tried to drive it home and uh that didn't it started to get warm again so all right get the tow truck take it to the take it to the mechanic and thinking oh this isn't well this is going to be not good because you know there's a lot of bad things that happen here no oil high temperatures heads all kinds of things can go wrong so he looks into it and says that it was clear you couldn't bleed it it had air air pockets in the in the coolant which probably from you know either a warp or cracked head which the, these things do that they yeah this is the, the whole when you have that you have this it is a subaru i love subarus don't get me wrong I always get i also get another one but it, it is what it is and so he looked at it and he got uh there's a can of sealant that he uses you know something like a 60 dollars can of sealant that he has had good effect with put that into it once he had that running for a little while my arms get there once uh once he had that going for a little while uh it's it, he was able to get the bubbles out of it he's he has equipment to you know to bleed off you know any kind of air in the system so he he got it bled off you have to run it for it's ran all day long so the engines it, it's pretty good and so i said to him so he's explaining all this to us that he, he thinks there was a like a hairline crack that was probably sucking air and now that that's sealed up, it should be good. I said, well, what happened to the oil? He said, oh, it's a Subaru. Oh, they do that. Every, every Subaru I've ever dealt with, it just the oil disappears. It just eats it. And you, know, you don't see smoke from the catalytic converter, and you don't know it's going. So you check it every couple days. I'm like, OK, we'll, we will do that. Um, might be a, he said there might have been a slight knock when you turn it on. So maybe you want, you know, maybe a little bearing. The bearings got a little bit more wear than they would have normally gotten. But it's, it's OK for now. It's running smooth. and far as I'm concerned, that is, you know, this all happened on the Feast of the Immaculate Conception, and I'm calling it a miracle, because I don't understand. I'm flying down the highway, no oil, overheated, how it did not grenade the engine, I do not know, except for, thank you, Jesus. Uh, just glory to God in the highest, because that is like, you know, the bill was like 115 bucks after all the work that was done on it, and it's like, thank you, God. Because I'm thinking it needed a motor or something like that. I'm looking at all the worst case scenarios. Even putting a water pump in, you know, that all it needed was the can of stuff. Thank you, Lord. And I am very grateful. Yay, it's home. Yay. Hooray. It runs, it drives. Thank you, God. Thank you, Mother Mary. Thank you for the entire intercession of saints. Thank you for the community of faith, for all prayers. Hooray. And thank you.
I should probably throw out some thanks here to the fine folks over at Borgner Service here in Alton, Pennsylvania. Johnny Borneo and the team will always take good care of me. They really could have looked at this like, you know, Christmas is coming and the goose is getting fed, but nope, nope. They looked for the, the best result, the best, wow! The most economic and quickest recovery for me, the client. I didn't even know that little thing was there. Alright, here we go. A little bouncy! It's got to bounce. Johnny probably needs like a car wizard kind of nickname. The car wizard's been taken, ninja's been taken. Guy? The car guy? That'd be a very Nipa nickname. This is gonna go right in the river, isn't it? I can hear him now. I don't need no freaking nicknames. Never mind that. Okay, that's probably how that would go, so we're not gonna do that. We are gonna, of course, as is tradition, now I'm gonna try and take this up till again. I have no question at all. Look at this thing, it's magnificent. It's a little slip slidey in places. Despite having a lot of grip. Every once in a while this guy goes, wee, but if only, if only Rockstar would update the traffic with something like this, fully modified. So we can fret so much better. Hope to find out what the new route is as well. Okay, that was, that was an interesting little bounce. But we're fine. Wiggle wiggle. It's a wiggly boo, dudes. It's very important to have a, a mechanic you can trust, and I think that's something I am blessed with. You know, it goes back to the thank God thing. That's, you have to be thankful for these things. I'm thankful for having the car as it is, which I realize, yeah, it's a 2009 Subaru, so you, some of you might be saying, well, big deal. But it is a very well, you know, appointed leather seats, heated seats, sunroof, the whole nine yards, Subaru. Very comfy, really good car drive, love driving it. Probably gonna have to do something with the steering at some point. Maybe you can or something. It's a little... The steering pumps, I think, is... I believe would be, the area expression would be on the way out. That's the <laughs> Just when it's not going very fast. Otherwise, it's fine. Now... That was kind of spectacular in the wrong way down, but hey, you know, the, this car is making it. It's not a Chiliad disaster, you can do it in style. And without exploding. It's the train! Woo! One of these days I'm gonna mistime that. Oh yeah, this is this car is excellent. I really I'm really happy with picking this up. Maybe I should get one over on the Rusty Jack side of things and then make that the wild racing car. He is the, that is the, my other character is supposed to be the racing character. He's 
zip along here. Remember coming up initially with like a backstory for Lusty Jack, like his mother was a biker and father was a mechanic in a racetrack, something, you know, something, something like that would tie him to everything. Or vice versa, father was a biker, mother was a... It was supposed to be a biking tie-in, because that was back in the day when the biker businesses were really big. I thought, well, this will be my biker character, too. It'll be biking and racing. But the biker stuff is just... It does not call to me, so it doesn't really come up very often. I mean, it's supposed to be kind of a, you know, Papa was a preacher, but Mama was a go-go girl kind of thing. I'm not sure. We make Mama the race car driver and Daddy the biker, or vice versa. I don't know. What combination do you think better shatters the patriarchy? It's so hard because you know, depends on how you want to look at things. You didn't even know that was an option to go through there, like that, did you? Oh yeah, this answers to the, the main question, will this go up till you die? Oh yeah. I finish first. I'm number one. I finish first, number one, finish first. Oopie dooby doo. A dooby doo. I'm not going to do the Ubermach build for Rusty Jack on this video. Hey, hey, hey. And, um, yeah, that's for another day. Might not even be, I might just buy it and then not build it. We can save that for another time. Just get the sale, but don't, don't spend too much money before, you know. The thing. This is all bonus material, right? I already said goodbye. I think it is. We're getting left. Bye again.